Hello, this is Alex from PHP Academy, and this is another video for the new Boston on appending uh, data onto the end of a file, or the contents um, inside the file. So we've already established we've opened up names.txt with the um, property of write, so we're writing to it. Um, we've written the name Alex and Billy, and we also have closed the file and then given a written confirmation. So what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to um, open up the file itself so yeah names.txt now what happens if I want to add to this list so I'm gonna change this to a okay now I'm gonna put Steve oh Steven that's fine and I'm gonna put um, Tom so what I've done now is I've written um, I've already written a name in fact let's just get rid of that um, I've already written names to to uh, this file, if we go back and have a look, refresh it, Alex and Billy. Uh, now what I want to do is say another line break after um, Billy, write the name Stephen and then another line break. Um, and this is appending, whereas before if we were doing d W, it would overwrite everything in the file. So if we use A and uh, we go back and we click on file, we can see that it simply added it to the to the end of the list. Um, now, if we go back, um, I'll show you an example in case you haven't caught it. If I was to just do a W, now watch what happens when I run the file. So file.php, we go back, you can see now that we just have the name Stephen and we have that line break before that. So you can now understand the importance of using the W or the append now why do we have these two um, these two features um, obviously uh, we need to at once at one instant we need to open up a file and write to it and then we close it and we may never need to use it again however in most cases we'll be opening up um, a file and rewriting names to it and I'm going to give you a real-life example let's um we'll just tighten this code up a bit here and um, we're going to keep it as a append, but I'm going to get rid of this just here for now. Now I'm going to come under here and I'm going to create a form. And the action of the form is going to be uh, file.php, the file we're currently using. And the method is going to be post. Now what I'm going to do is end the form. And I'm going to specify um, a form field for the user to enter a name. So uh, name and then input type equals text, uh, name equals name. Uh, I'm going to break down a couple more lines and input type equals submit. And the uh, value of that is submit. So this is what we're displaying to the user. Okay, so let's just comment out this code for now and preview our form and we can see what it looks like. Oh no, that's names.txt, file.php. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, let's just uh, get rid of names.txt. Okay, so we've got rid of names.txt. If we open up the browser, we can see that that's now gone. Now, what we need to do is we need to um, this this is automatically this data is automatically going to be posted um, as we've seen before with file handling. So what we need to do is before we um, create this, in fact, we'll get rid of that altogether. What we want to do is we want to perform a check to see if this variable is set. So if um, name is set, remember. Uh, we're posting this from here so we're using the dollar underscore post because we've set the method to post and we're using the is set function to check this has been set so if it has been set we can uh, specify this variable so I'm gonna say name equals um, uh, dollar underscore post name okay uh, and now what we want to do is we want to say if not empty name else and in here we can just do an error message please type oh dear type a name okay so in here what we want to do now is if the user has entered um, a name 
we're all okay so we can just test the functionality of this now click on file.php so I'm going to type in a name Alex click submit so that's okay if we don't type anything in it prompts us to type a name so this is all very well and good but now we're inside here what do we want to do we want to open up a handle and we want to open names.txt and we want to open up this to append now what we want to do is f write and we want to write to handle so what data do we want to write to this we want to write name now we want to append on a line break so a full backslash and n so all the functionality of this program is we're asking the user to enter names and every time they click submit and they submit a new name it's going to write it to a new line in this file so this is a real life example of where you can store data for um, your user input now we're going to say f close the all important f close and we're going to say handle inside that so now let's check if it works um, at the moment if we go back to our file handling directory we've got no names.txt but once we type a name in and click submit uh, we haven't given a confirmation message but all we can do is we can go back to the here you can see that um, a names.txt file exists and we've got Alex in there so let's go back again and type a new name in click submit okay and let's type in Steven while we're here and we, we can type Tom while we're here as well so submit so now if we go back to file handling directory and look at our names.txt we can see that this has appended each name that we've processed through the form that's appended that onto the end um, or well, the end of the content of this file so that's about it for um, appending um, in the next tutorial we're going to be look at reading this data in and then displaying it back out to the user